Tonight, NASA is busy upgrading the launch pad where the Artemis II moon rocket will launch from in two years. Yeah, but the effort is ongoing around the clock, even over the holidays, to get the upgrades done in just five short months so the other preps can continue. Only on 6, new 6 space expert Eric Von Anken is at pad 39B with an exclusive look at one of the most critical upgrades. NASA, as we know, has contingency plans for just about everything. This one involves connecting a thick cable from that point all the way to the top of the launch pad, to the top of the SLS rocket, in case astronauts need to abort. Essentially, it's a zip line that will carry them from there to here if there is some sort of an emergency. This one, though, is going to be very different than the days of the shuttle. Two, one, three. This was the plan if shuttle astronauts had to leave the launch pad in a hurry, climb into the basket and soar down to the surface where they'd get into a waiting armored car and drive to safety. The cables had to be attached and tensioned precisely, but only once. But the baskets were always at the, at the top of the tower. And the cables were always in place. And the, the cables were always in place. Now, it's, it's, a, it's a process that, that we will, or the ops people, will have to perform every time the mobile launcher comes into the pad. Remember, the mobile launch tower that the SLS lifts off from moves back and forth to the pad. The old launch tower never moved. So certainly, if every time the mobile launcher rolls up to the pad, you have to connect all of these cables, yes. that now takes extra time that you got to get it out there, here. There's going to be there's going to be a time that they will have to add to the whole processing launch processing system in order to connect those cables and and obviously after after the launch disconnect the cables and take them back to the mobile launcher. Jose Morales in charge of all the upgrades to the launch pad tells me connecting and tensioning the cables will take as long as a week once the mobile launcher rolls out with the rocket. But it's a necessity for Artemis 2 and beyond, Morales says, because of course astronauts will be on board and lives will be at stake. Once the spooling and the tensioning system is installed here, the mobile launcher then has to roll out to the launch pad and they got to hook up all the cables from here to there to make sure that this escape system actually works. Then the mobile launcher has to roll back to the vehicle assembly building. They got to start stacking the rocket on top of it. That's why there's such a strict deadline to get all of this done. At the Kennedy Space Center, Pad 39B, Eric Von Anken getting results. News 6.